Today, I'm combining the design of the floor, the frame, and the seat into one video. I have experimented different methods to strengthen a boat so it will not collapse, like the one shown in this picture. The first boat I built, I used the wood frame and wood floor. It works well, but it is relatively heavy. It also occupies more space in the trunk of my car and took more time to build. But with the second boat, I switched mainly to use PVC pipes as the frame. I still use wood to create a simple floor. I also use foam, the kind which people used for packaging, and create a soft, comfortable seat. I have still over-designed, I should make it even simpler. With the third boat, which is a kayak, the PVC frame is very simple. The removable floorboard is made from a 10 millimeter thick coral plus sheet. You may replace it with a quarter inch plywood. I fastened the seat with the zip ties, which is a releasable cable tie, to the floorboard. Since I have leftover foam pieces, I placed those under the seat so I can sit two to three inches above the floor of the boat. The advantage is if there's a bit of water in the boat, my pants will stay dry. You can see how the floorboard, chair, frame being held together here. The floor design of the two seats is very different. I used a uh, two inches pink foam sheet to create a floor. I used the coral plus sheet to wrap around the pink foam. This mainly is to protect the foam when I step onto the floor. It also strengthens the floor. I used the leftover pink foam to create two rectangular blocks and I used those as seats. I wrap it in two black garbage bags. The straps placed across the width of the boat create a fairly robust structure holding the size of the boat together. One of the design goals of the two seats is to support a payload of 500 pounds and I have tested it with 400 pounds and it felt very solid and stable. I found out I can get some very nice seat at Goodwill for four or five dollars a piece. The blue one I've shown here is around four and a half pounds. To me, it's a bit heavy, but it's very sturdy, and it is a good design trade-off. I used the same seat on my other boats. I used the releasable cable ties to secure the seat. The pontoon boat design, I used three quarter inches diameter schedule 40 PVC pipes for the frame. Because I want to have a compact design, I create two PVC frames. I have to use egg straps to hold the PVC frame onto the pontoons. I placed a PVC cross piece in the front of the kayak so I can hold onto the boat when I get into or out of the boat. I placed a small piece of wood for landing my feet when I get onto the boat. If you like this video, please subscribe and you will be notified when I upload the next video. Thanks for watching.